Today in this video, I will show you how to lock your scooter to make sure nobody's gonna steal it from you. And in this video, I will show you how. Oh. Okay, the little thing right there that you see, it's your scooter. And let me tell you, a little reminder, it's your property. Being your property, nobody should be stealing your property from you. So having a scooter nice and locked up, especially in the winter time, when up north in the USA you're not using your scooter, you should lock your scooter the best way you, to, you can. Now, if they really want to steal your scooter, take your scooter from you, there is no way you can stop that really because uh, they will do everything they can to take it from you. Now, if you make it difficult for them, they might go to another vehicle or another scooter or another motorcycle. The more you make it difficult for them, the more you make it really annoying for them to take your scooter away from you, they will go to another things. You know, so they will not take their scooter from you. Now, the best thing you can do, you can, pay, you can place a lot of locks on your scooter or a lot of things on your scooter and maybe make your, your scooters less visible for them to take your scooter away. So one of the best things you can do is try to hide your scooter from their eyes. So try to keep your scooter kind of hide it, you know, so don't, so don't, no, they're not going to see that scooter, they're not going to see the little, you know, thing that they want to take away from you. So the best thing you really do, you just hide that scooter, okay? Now don't hide it too much, because if you hide it too much, they might really disappear, the thing. So slightly away from the view of the eye of the people that want to take the scooter, because People, they want to take your property, really they're going to drive there before, before they're going to take that property, before they're going to they take that step and they really decide what to do next to take your property away. Now, if they see that the scooter is slightly away, maybe they don't see it, it's going to be slightly invisible to them, but in the same time, you have to make sure, take a few steps to make sure you're going to make their life very difficult to take the scooter from you and I will show you a few steps how to do this thing right now okay one of the first thing you should do when you really want to park a scooter for a long time and you want to make sure nobody takes the scooter from you parks the scooter on the center stand that's always really good because that really slightly make more difficult to put down the center stand than to click off and put up the side stand of the scooter. Now, the second thing you should do when you park the scooter for a long time, you should turn the handle of the bar, a handle bar right here of your scooter, turn the key, and make sure that the lock is engaged. Even if the lock is not one of the best lock that you can find in the quality size or the quality, quality kind, this kind of lock slightly will give them a little harder time. Even if it's just with a kick of the foot on the left side, you can break this uh, steering lock that you have there. So this one is not really something much, but every little thing that you can do can help to prevent somebody to steal your scooter from you. Now, after you've done that, right here on the right side of the handlebar, you have a kill switch. Now, turn the kill switch to off, you know, just in case we don't want to give them a little more hard time. You really want to annoy them, okay? Now, this one is something that you can do. Put the kill switch on the off side. So, if they're trying to turn on the scooter, this is not going to work. That's another step you can do. Now, the third step we're going to take is to have uh, a rotor right here this one is a rotor lock for your scooter this one is really good because this one has a, an alarm too if you hear this noise that's an alarm for your rotor okay if someone tries to steal this one this one is going to sound now in the same time it's going to block it's going to block the rotor or your scooter 
You see how annoying it is? This one is really annoying for people that they really want to steal your property. Now we're just going to open this one back up and we're going to keep it up. Now this one, we're going to lock it to the rotor disc brake in the front side of your scooter. Now, you can always put two of them. If you have a rotor in the back, some scooters they have a rotor in the back and a rotor in the front. Now we're gonna lock this one in the front and in the back if you have one rotor for the brake in the back, rotor disc, okay? Now this one they're really easy to put in. You just put this one in and lock them. But what you have to do, you have to replace this one this one is something that you can place at your brake. So you're going to remember that you have this one on your front disc. Because if you don't put this one, you might break your caliper of the scooter. If you break the caliper of the scooter, it's going to cost you a little money. But not really for the money of the scooter, because the parts are really affordable. But what you really have to do, you have to do a lot of work to fix the scooter. So I'm going to show you how to place this one right now at the rotor. Okay, to place this one right here, the lock of your rotor, the first thing you can do, you just place this one right here at the handlebar. So this one will remind you that you have a lock right there at your brake rotor. Now, this one pull it this way, and you can hook it up this one right here. Make sure you put this one right here, this one, so you remember. Now this one also show other people that you have a lock lock on your rotor. Now this way, just press the key and turn. Now try to place the little lock as much close as you can to the caliper. So you don't want to give too much room to people to hammer this one down and break it from you. So if they can break it, they can disassemble it, place it apart, and they can leave with your scooter. Now, like that, your scooter is gonna be safe. You can place this one inside the hole, right here of the rotor. So that will be slightly tighter lock. Or you can go all the way forward. But the best thing you can do, make sure you place the lock close to the caliper. So nobody can hammer this one down. Now, what they can do, they can turn the wheel. But, you know, the thing is like more work you will give to people to steal your scooter and more difficult will become for them. So, okay, right after we place your scooter on a center stand, we lock the scooter with the key. We place the handlebar going left to make sure your scooter is going to lock your scooter and uh, it's not going to be too much movement uh, in the way that nobody can ride your scooter. At this point, uh, we place also a lock at the rotor. Now, these things will help you to prevent your scooter from be stealing, you know? So now, at this point, what you can do, you can install on your scooter an alarm. You know, having an alarm with your scooter that you can lock your scooter and place an alarm in the same time somebody wants to try to shake your scooter or move your scooter their alarm will go off sometimes they don't go off but because it's a very low quality alarm that you can buy for your scooter now i'll place i will place a link down here in this video on youtube to show you where you can buy on amazon the alarm for your scooter these ones they're very inexpensive about 25 to 30 dollars and they're really easy to connect to a gy 650 cc scooter because the gy 6 scooter 150 cc they already have a connection in the front where you can connect your alarm so that is a great thing now after this what you can do with your scooter after an alarm you can buy a chain with a lock that something can really help you with your scooter. Something really that really help you to give those people slightly another time to take your scooter from you. This one is something really important. Now, could be a lock, could be a chain that could cost hundred dollar, or can be a lock or a chain can cost twenty five dollar. In the same thing, same way, 
even really high quality chain can be broken. So if someone can break you, so you really want to take your property, really want to take your scooter, they can break any chain or any you know, steel wire chain that you're gonna put on your scooter. If the scooter is really worth it for them to steal, you know, so at that point is also that kind of idea. If the scooter's value is $500, $300, they might not steal it from you. But if you put a lot of little things like a chain and a rotor block and you're gonna lock your scooter and you're gonna put an alarm on your scooter, more things you have for them to work on it, it's more difficult for them or no worth it for them to steal your scooter. Now at this point, we're gonna put a chain on the scooter on the rear tire. Okay, this one is just a simple chain that you can place in your scooter. You can place a large lock back here and you can put a double chain. And you can go through your wheel on the other side and lock it to the spring or suspension of your scooter. Now you, what you can also do is to lock the tire and the suspension to a pole. If you have a pole that is a concrete pole or something right here, don't just lock the tire, also lock the suspension and the tire or the wheel to the pole that you have a concrete pole. I see some people they also have connection to the floor that what you can do you just drill the hole on the floor and put a connection and you can tie your scooter to the connection on the floor. But now having two chain or having a really good chain on your scooter is almost the same thing but try to have a great chain try to have something thick now if they really want to break a chain they break a chain if if it's worth it for them to really steal your scooter they will steal your scooter they will take the property from you but try to make as much difficult as you can now we're just going to place this one inside right here Go to the other side, and at the same time you can hear the front side that is going to beep. You know, the front rotor is going to beep because I'm making some vibration. So we just go through the wheel and make sure you connect to the swing arm and the suspension. Try to really get together with the suspension, the swing arm, so you can place the chain. Now try to get a nice thick chain and you can lock this one. Now try to make sure that the lock is going to look down instead of up. For some reason, for corrosion from rain that goes inside your lock and you might have damage and later maybe you can open the lock. And plus the lower the lock is, the little more difficult for people to break the lock. You try to make the lock or the chain in a way that is going to be hard for them to break it. So this one is something that you can do. Now the, you have the rotor lock in the front, you have a chain in the back. Now if you have a rotor brake in the back, if you have a brake disc in the back, what you can do, you can place one you know, block at the rear disc brake. That's what you can do too, it's very important. Now, there is a lot of little things that you can do to make sure they're not going to take the property away from you. Now, one of the last things that you could do, and I'm going to show you right now, that is going to make your scooter invisible from other people. Okay, one of the last things I would like to show you to make your scooter less visible and actually invisible from people that want to steal their scooter from you is a scooter cover. This one is something really simple, very inexpensive. There is about 20 to 30 dollars on Amazon. Make sure you get a cover that really camouflage the area that you are into. So if you're putting your scooter in a area that you have a lot of trees, try to put a camouflage cover for your scooter that is going to look like a tree or it's going to look like a green. It's going to you know blend in to the scenario of your area so the scooter will be slightly invisible now a scooter cover is really important for two things for the winter time is great for your scooter that will not get too much corrosion now 
a scooter cover also has to be breathable because uh, will not keep the humidity inside there all the moisture inside there has to be breathable so it has to get be a really good quality cover for your scooter but in the same time having a scooter cover will help a lot to make your scooter invisible to people that they're going to want to take your property away now is also you have to make sure that on the cover you don't have the name of your scooter because it plus it's also if you have a scooter that is not that name and you put a high quality name on the cover of your scooter they say Yamaha Honda or something that is real more expensive than what you have is even worse so try to keep a dark or a blendable uh, cover for your scooter that is not going to catch the eye of the people that are looking to take your scooter away so having a cover will make your scooter a little more invisible show you right now Okay, so just after you cover your scooter, at this point your scooter is invisible. How about that? You know, something is really important to make your scooter invisible. Now, try to tie the cover of the scooter that you have right there. Make sure you tie it really nicely for two reasons. For the weather and plus for the people they want to take your scooter. So the more difficult you will make for people to take your scooter, the longer it will take to them to take your property away. So at this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel anytime, feel free to follow me, and if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. Feel free to ask. Thank you.